Oh my gosh, is this what I think it is? These hobby boxes, in my opinion, are by far the best value unopened product I have found to date, and I am a nerd. What is up, everyone? Today, I've got a hobby box of 1998-99 Topps basketball. This is by far the most excited I've been about a purchase in 2021 maybe 2020 and 2021, and I'll explain why. So 98 Tops Basketball Series 2, which is what this hobby box is, is the rookie year of Vince Carter, Paul Pierce, and Dirk Nowitzki. All right, all three of those are found in this box. Now, the thing most people don't understand and why these are, in my opinion, drastically undervalued is twofold. So for one, the whole set is only 220 cards. So the Series 2 set is only 110 cards. There's 36 packs in here. Each has 11 cards. The, the packs that have the gold label inserts only have eight or nine cards, I believe. It ends up being like 380 cards in a box. So over three of each card on average you'll get. So on average you'll get three plus Paul Pierce, Vince Carter, and Dirk Nowitzki rookies put on top of that, that I think these guys have huge value potential right now as they're getting into their Hall of Fame years. Dirk Nowitzki, Paul Pierce, Vince Carter should all make the Hall of Fame within the next few years. And I got this for 300 bucks. Dirk Nowitzki PSA 10 sold for a grand. There should be three of them in here on average. Paul Pierce and Vince Carter's PSA 10 sell for like three, 400 bucks. All right. Now there is centering issues with these, like everything from that era. But I'm telling you, not to mention, like I said, twofold, there's an average of about 10 inserts in here. One of the inserts you can get out of here is called East West. It's And they have base East West and refractors. So they're both chromium. But East-West has one player on the front, one player on the back. There's a Michael Jordan Kobe East-West refractor that was inserted into these boxes. That's easy, In a PSA 10, that's easily a $10,000 plus dollar card. And the sets for the inserts are not huge. They're like 10 card sets. So, for instance, the gold labels are inserted 1 in 12 packs. Um, it's a 10 card set. That has Shaquille O'Neal, Kobe, and Michael Jordan. There's also black label and red label that can be inserted in there. I mean, a red label Michael Jordan, I, that's probably a $5,000 card in a PSA 10 right now. Maybe two. It's high. It's, it's up there. All right. These hobby boxes, in my opinion, right now for what they've been selling for, and they are going up, but are by far the best value unopened product I have found to date, and I am a nerd. I spend a lot of time on eBay. I spend a lot of time on PSA, a lot of time looking at this stuff because there are definitely some holes in the market where you can make a lot of money, all right? And this is one of them in my opinion. So shouldn't even be telling you all this because now you're gonna maybe be in competition with me on eBay and these things don't come up that often. But I'm here to provide value, and in my opinion, this video right here is the best value I can provide to you. So I hope you appreciate it. Let's get into this. I'm so excited. I was so, I found this box on eBay at like three o'clock in the morning, newly listed for 300, uh, 325, something like that, plus $15 shipping. I think I did. I didn't even do a best offer. I just bought it. I wasn't taking the time. There was already people looking at it, not just me. To people that know what's going on, um, they realize this. Like, they're, they're people buying these boxes. They, they don't last long. Um, they, they understand what's in here and the potential here. So, they should be going up. I wouldn't be surprised. I It wouldn't surprise me if tomorrow one sold for a grand. That would not surprise me. There's that much value in here. When you figure you're getting those nine, 10 cards that you could get out of there, if they all PSA 10, you're looking at, oh, five grand. You're looking at five grand. 
for a hobby box that costs that I got for three hundred dollars, and they've been selling for between two fifty and three hundred for the last couple months, and I've been kicking myself because I haven't been able to pick one up, and this guy didn't do a great job of packaging it, and I'm kind of pissed because I even talked to him about it. Looks like it's probably okay. I have wanted this for a couple months once I realized what was in here, and uh, super psyched to be able to get one. And I will probably, if I have the money, I will buy every one I can get between now and once they get out of my price range, because I think this is an opportunity that just won't last long like a lot of these. Let's get into this, guys. I am so excited to see what we can get. And, you know, maybe we strike out. Uh, there's, there's very little risk in this. I don't know that it's... Unless they're damaged or really bricks stuck together, I don't know that striking out is a thing that can happen with these. But we'll see. Um, I have been proven wrong in the past for sure. So that is a thing that can happen. This is, this is Christmas for me. Cross your fingers, guys. I know you're in the future, but um, according to quantum physics, it doesn't matter. Like you can, you can root for me in the future and, and uh, it will convey. All right, guys, let's get into it. Rafe LaFriend's rookie card. That one's a sleeper. Rafe LaFriend's had a pretty good career, but definitely not real valuable right now. Um, looks like we do have a little bit of sticking. Not bad. That's a huge plus. Grant Hill, all the Hall of Famers in here. Carl Malone, Larry Johnson. Just a little bit of sticking, but overall not bad. Sometimes you'll get more sticking in some packs than the others. Definitely not anything that hurts the uh, the grade quality. Not enough sticking to actually damage the cards. Not even close. Probably not the most visually appealing set. But if you can't afford the Topps Chrome, they're up there, but they're not ridiculous. But I think your pull odds are a lot better in this than the Topps Chrome. Topps Chrome, there we go. There we go. Mr. Dirk Nowitzki. There's our first, and it's the big one. And, you know, with an open product, you know, you get good corners. The centering is not great. It's not terrible. All right. That could, you know, that could get nine centering. The nines, the Dirk nines are going for, I don't know. Like, they've gone up recently. They might be going for 300 now. I think the eights are going for a hundred. So that's why I say like, like there's very little risk here. Like you get three Dirk eights and you can sell those and you almost completely made your money back. You got, you know, 50, $60 in grading fees and uh, that's it. Plus your Paul Pierce's plus your um, Vince Carter's. We're not even done with that pack. This is our second pack. That's what I'm saying. This set is so small that there's just so much here. Boom. Paul Pierce. Paul Pierce. Topps rookie card. Centering's definitely off on that one. It's like tilted. Uh, that top corner, it's better, easier to see. But the centering's tilted on that. There's a little edge uh, issue. There's a little corner issue. What I do normally when I'm looking for looking for product, an open product, there's another, that's what I'm saying. Small set, there's another Petro, Petrag Stojakovic. I don't remember here, so I'm sorry if I should, but if anybody out there thinks I should. Derek Fisher. There's another Dirk. There's another Dirk. That's what I'm saying, guys. That one's got a rough corner. It's off center, top to bottom. That one's Probably not a grading candidate. Well, oh, Mike Bibby stuff doesn't go for a whole lot. Corey Benjamin. This series two is Antoine Jameson. Antoine Jameson's not a slouch. It's actually not a slouch. What I, my normal process when I'm looking for 
unopened product, which is what I look for in that uh, 90s, 2000 range, is I will go through, my favorite thing to do is who's, whether it's baseball, football, or basketball, or soccer, or whatever, like, I guess soccer, but baseball, football, basketball, hockey, whatever. I will look for who's gonna make the Hall of Fame within the next five years. Then I'll look for what their rookie year was. I'll look up the prices of the rookies in different grades. I'll look at, up the prices of the unopened product. Then I'll go over to a website like Trading Card Database or uh, Cardboard Collectors. Here's an insert in this one. Tracy McGrady just picked up his Topps Chrome Rookie for a steal, a friggin' steal. What's this one? Oh my gosh, is this what I think it is? No, surely not. Boo friggin' yah. Boo friggin' yah. Oh, guys. Oh, guys, these actually grade easier if they're centered. This one looks maybe off top to bottom, but I can't tell. And I'm so nervous because that's a sick card. And I'm pretty sure that one goes for a grand plus in a PSA 10. What luck. 10% chance, one in 10 chance. Ooh, blessed. Absolutely blessed. Like I said, beautiful chromium card. Thick card stock. That one is probably going in a no less than a 20 day. I might use a third party submitter. Card Collector 2 is uh, who uh, I plan on using in the future. I have a submission with him right now. Once it comes back, we've talked and it's kind of like, we want to make sure everything goes okay. I have full confidence in Ryan and in his business. He's got like five full-time guys that work in submissions. Um, and Ryan's been in the game for a long time. One of the first guys to ever sell cards on Instagram. He was a huge part of blowout forums. I'm talking about when he was like, 2013, so Ryan would have been like probably 18, probably 17, 18. I think Ryan's like 26, 27. Awesome YouTube channel. Guys, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That is so sick. I'm sorry this is taking so long, but hard work pays off. That's all I'm saying. That is all I'm saying is hard work pays off. That might go in a five day to try to get it back within a month. That's a sick card. There's another Paul Pierce. Loaded. These boxes are loaded. Loaded. I shouldn't have told you guys about this. That one's crooked too. That Paul Pierce is crooked too. Don't like that. Off center and crooked. Don't like that. But that Jordan in a nine probably, probably already paid for this box. That Jordan in a nine, not counting everything else. We haven't even really scratched the surface yet. Still, and I mean, these cards raw, like the Paul Pierce raw in this grade is probably five bucks. You know, I wouldn't expect more to get more than five or 10 bucks in this condition with it being crooked and everything. And that could go up too, for sure. You know, once he gets close to the Hall of Fame, that could definitely go up. But five or 10 bucks is five or 10 bucks. So a little bit of sticking. Not bad though. Like I said, not enough sticking to cause damage. Another dirt, another dirt. That one, see what the corners look like. Not the best, not bad. 
still bad back centering. Not great back centering at all. You don't have to have great back centering um, to get a PSA 10. I think it's 2575. So that should be good enough. This is not a 10. I would hope. This could be. This is an 8. This card's an 8. And 8, like I said, an 8 and a Dirk right now. And that doesn't account for like future price increases, possible future price increases. But I think right now a Dirk 8 is going for maybe a uh, 100 bucks. So if it came back an 8, it's worth grading. Um, you make money over your grading fees. If it came back a seven, I think you would probably still break even on what it would cost for grading. So beans, it's not super terrible. Send it off. Dirk had an amazing career. If you didn't follow Dirk's career, it like you should look him up on basketball reference. Like he's Dirk was the, the real deal. Who's been in it a long time? There's another Dirk. That's the fourth Dirk. Guys, that's the fourth Dirk rookie. You don't like these opportunities do not come around. That card's a nine. Cards a nine. I'll have to look at what they're grading as far as what they're uh, allowing for back centering for nines. I would think this, you know, you can get quite a bit off on back centering. You still get a nine, but these are quite a bit off. Maybe they were made off center. Like maybe, maybe they were intentionally off center this year. I don't know. I don't know. I'd have to look, but from the front, that card's a nine. So I think nines, if not now, probably not too far into the future will be like 300. And that Jordan, like I said, those more chromium cards, those are, those grade better. They just do. Um, usually don't have as many corner issues. I, I would love to have a Dirk 10. I would love to have Dirk 10. He's had such an amazing career. You know, that's one I would hold on to for sure. I don't, I don't know that I'll get one, but look at that. Look at that, Jordan. That's sick. Blessed. That's just a sick card. Chromium card. Refractor finish. Kickstart. Oh, it's AI. Allen Iverson. Kickstart. Sick. Off center, right to left. Probably off center, top to bottom. Still a sick card. Super sick card. Sick. I saw the cornrows. Saw the cornrows and I knew. Big AI fan. If you didn't notice, uh, there's an AI in the background. It's an 8.5. I've got a bunch um, of AIs that are, that are going to grading like right now. 8.5 that maybe you could get a 9. I don't know. But it's an SGC 8.5 that I got. I got like a couple months ago for like 20 bucks. Mugsy. Mugsy. The Mugster. Another guy who's super fun to watch. That's another gold label. That might be a black label. That might be a black label. Here's another McGrady. Vladimir Stepania. David Robinson. Let's check it out, guys. No way. No. Who is that? Tim Duncan. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one.
second year gold label. I've got one of these, but it's not in great condition. Definitely not in gradable condition. This one. Definitely gradable. Tim Duncan's definitely picked up steam. Everybody's like, ah, oh, Tim Duncan was born two months ago. He's picked up steam. Everybody has. I mean, people got sick of the volatility in the modern market and there was a huge gap, a huge gap where like you could either buy like a, a not the best rookie card player of 2018 or 17 in a PSA 10, or you could buy a Tim Duncan Topps Chrome who has one of the best records ever in, you know, best careers ever in basketball. Whether he was super entertaining, I don't care. Like a lot of people liked him. He was just quiet, but a lot of people definitely liked him. A lot of Spurs fan out there. San Antonio in Texas in general is not exactly a sparsely populated area. Another Paul Pierce. Classic Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Another Paul Pierce. Another Paul Pierce with terrible centering. Like, look at that. I mean, it's off right to left. It's way off top to bottom. Let's see what the back looks like. Top to bottom, way, way off. Right to left, way, way off. Ooh, that's our our next gold label. And it is, it's a regular gold label. Charles Barkley. Charles Barkley. Nice. That's an awesome insert. The refractor coating, the gold lettering, the double picture, it's an awesome insert. Sean Elliott? What is this? Chrome preview. So that's like Chrome came out later in the year, but this is the uh, Chrome preview, Sean Elliott. That's cool. Um, again, I think the Chrome previews was only a 10 card set. That might be a red label. Another Barkley? Huh. Another Barkley. The fact that we got four is super cool. I really like the way these look. That looks different. That's not a regular gold label Barkley. See how that one looks? And then see how that looks? That's not a regular. That's... That's a red or a black. Now I'm looking at the other ones. But I don't see anything that says that necessarily. And I thought they would say that. But, you know, it's obvious those two labels look different. And even like the coloring, like the one on the right's a little bit darker. So I'll have to look that up, but that's cool. There we go. I actually, I was flipping through these because I couldn't remember if I'd looked. There's our first Vince Carter. There's our first Vince Carter. Not bad, probably, you know, again, off top to bottom. I have seen some PSA 10s that look like they're off top to bottom. So maybe that's the way these were made, you know, more or less. So they, they give some, some leniency there. It's easy to like, you get so many of these, like it's easy to go through here and be like, oh, an another Dirk Nowitzki that in a PSA 10 sells for a thousand bucks. Another Vince Carter that in a PSA 10 sells for, <laughs> sells for 300 bucks or whatever. I know you're supposed to, uh, I know you're supposed to slow roll it. Who's that? Ray Allen. I'm a big fan of Ray Allen. I think he's underrated. I mean, this is uh, third year Ray Allen, but hey, 
Ray Allen. That one looks well centered, like top to bottom, right to left. Corners look good. I might actually get that graded. Um, if nothing else, just for my personal collection, because I am starting to build up a pretty good personal collection of Ray Allen. We definitely got a hot box. These are only supposed to be like the gold, regular gold labels. And maybe it's a different, maybe it's not a gold label. Maybe it's something different. Um, but these gold labels are only supposed to be one in 12 packs. This is our fifth, if that's what it is. Yep, that's what it is. Who is it? Oh, it might be. It, it's got a shot. What's the color? Gary Payton. Gary Payton. I saw the bald head and I thought it had a shot at Kobe. Um, well, it did. I saw the bald head. I don't know exactly what these look like. Fifth. Fifth gold label. Yeah. I'm run, I'm I'm out I'm pretty much out of room for for gold label cards over here. No, is it? I think it might be. I don't know which one it is, but I think it's an East West. It's an East West. Oh, Sharif Abdur Rahim. And I don't know what's on the other side. The again, so these are awesome looking cards. Chromium um, there's also refractor versions. This is not a refractor version, but there is a Jordan Kobe of this East West. Antoine Walker. So Sharif Abdul, Abdul Rahim and Antoine Walker. Not a whole lot of value there, but we got one. I remember him a little bit. Juan Howard, Dean Garrett, VC. Then Sanity. That one is centered well on the front. It's not centered tear, tear up completely like horribly on the back. That one's got a shot, I think, I think. If not at a 10, it's for sure got a shot at a nine. So there is a little edge whiteness. There's the smallest ever maybe bit of like corner whiteness. We pretty much struck out on the Paul Pierce cards, which sucks. I really like Paul Pierce. I like watching him. These are the the ones, the whole, the rookie, the big rookies that are like all, pretty far off center. So Antoine Jameson, Paul Pierce, all the Paul Pierces were pretty far off center. Antoine Jameson, Tracy McGrady, second year. I don't know. Um, Paul Pierce, I'm surprised I sleep that up as well. Another Antoine Jameson. We've got like six Antoine Jamesons. Uh, Dirk, that was just way off. Um, another Paul Pierce that was pretty far off. And then we're not even, we're not done. We're not done. These are the potential grading candidates. Ray Allen. Some most, a lot of them are going to grading. Maybe all of them. Ray Allen Kickstart, awesome looking card, amazing looking card. Vince Carter, Vince Carter, Vince Carter, Antoine Jameson, Dirk Nowitzki, Dirk Nowitzki, Tyron Lou, Dirk Nowitzki. Guys, four Dirks, four Dirks in that box. We're not done. You thought we were done. We're not done. Gary Payton gold label, Charles Barkley gold label, Charles Barkley black label. Tim Duncan go label. And our friend, Mr. Michael Jordan. Dang. 14 base went for 610. Okay. The the Dirks are going for two grand in a PSA 10 now. I take that back. The Dirk bases are going for 50 bucks a piece. There's a 10 that went for a thousand. There's one that went for 1200. The one that went for a thousand was January 28th. This one went for two grand. I don't know what they'll be going for by the time I get them back. The Vince Carter 10s are up to 500. So that, 
Yeah, a week ago they were 300. Like I guess that Jordan sale pushed everything up. It'll probably come down a little bit, but the Paul Pierce's are going for 500 plus. Let's just see what uh, the gold label Jordan's going for. 700. That was January 22nd. Not bad. I thought they'd be more than that, and maybe they are now. They were like 350. Guys, I don't know what to say. Like, I'm saying this is the best unopened product value in sports cards, bar none. Um, let me know what you think down in the comments. Always check me out at cardcollects.com, cardcollects on Instagram, cardcollects on Twitter. I've got a Patreon, it's three bucks a month, and it has access to the Discord server. It's a closed Discord server, so you don't have any problems with knuckleheads or anything like that. Um, do group breaks on cardcollects.com. And uh, yeah, I've also got a TikTok where I put a lot of the short videos I put on here, but some other stuff. If anybody's watched this video all the way through, put a goat down in the comments because you're the goat and I really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna see if I can find another box of this stuff. Y'all take care, have a great evening. I'll talk to you later, bye-bye.